I guess we're early, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Pretty good. How about yourself? How's everybody doing? Hi, how are you? Now we on time. We're going to say they late. <laughs> well, it's only 6.51. So I guess, I don't know, you're right, we're on time. I'm usually late. I just thought I would just log on because I was doing something else, so. If you're early, if you're early, you're on time. If you start on schedule, you're late. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sam, we go with that one. I like that. <laughs> How's everyone doing? I, I came on, I came on at 6.30. I think we need some new schedules, perhaps printed. This is Diana speaking. I think we need some new schedules printed, perhaps, because we have, I have for the last one that we were supposed to have been on at 6.30 with Phyllis Nash uh, every Sunday until April the 18th. So that's 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. And then at, um, Eight, uh, Dr. Ross. Um, I don't, I don't know where that came from. Um, the six thirty for massive action. It's always been six. It's always been central. Well, yes, and that's what I thought too. But it was actually. Um, I don't know where that list came from. So that might have been somebody doing something that did not. Right. Come up. It did not. No. I just wish we had a a newer list because I've got all kinds of corrections on mine and they usually stated but they're stated everybody's talking I'll about work it. out I'll work that out with you with Lori this week. I'll I'll That'll be great you that we'll get a new list out. But then and also it will be on the Wakana for Life Facebook group and it'll be under announcements so that you can always refer if you don't see it in the feed if you click on announcements it'll always okay, be, okay? so that's a kind of for life yes yeah. okay thank you yes anytime you see right. anything from the company it's not going to be in eastern it'll always state it in central time okay thank you mm -hmm. Hey, everybody, how you doing? I see you are early. I just had to pop in to say that because I do that. How are you? Yes, good, Charlotte. Phyllis, well, you get my email? I did, but I had already worked it out. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, but thank you. I love your charts and all of your stuff and your rah rahs. You pass that out to the team during yeah, the, the team. Week? The team Perfect. has it, and, and they got my, my feedback on their momentum. And I see. We got our, we got our pivots and course correct sessions immediately following. <laughs> okay, okay, awesome. All right. Lot to do. Lots now to do. it's uh, March Madness, and you know, um, I got the top three team so far up until this point. Actually, it's not even up to this point. I took it from last Sunday, since the Sunday is the end of the uh, of the week for us at midnight. Okay. So this was this the numbers that I give you tonight will be for last Sunday at midnight. All right. Let's see what teams are the top three. We're only going to deal with the top three. If you're All not right. in the top three, you know you got to get busy. <laughs> All right. All right. We're going to come probably go over a little bit about the three-way call and why it's so important. Good. I hope my team's on for that. I hope everybody get on but for if that you're, conversation. If they're not, you'll be there. Oh, yeah. So I'll that be there. you can just share it, you oh, know, because yeah. that's what this is creating. This leaders are coming and emerging out of this. And that's what's important because, again, it takes it from dependence to independence. And if you, uh, you know, we finish this and we have a number of strong leaders just come from going through this. We had 16 different teams. Then we can go to the next step and you can start duplicating that. Because that's what you want. You want your leaders. I'm so proud of Cheryl um, 
Cheryl Johns, I don't know what to do. She is really working on her own personal development and I see it. So I'm excited for you, Cheryl. Kudos awesome. to you. Awesome. Thank yeah. you. So guys, when you come on, I know that um, I got my hair done, so I'm showing my picture tonight. <laughs> with it. So, it looks beautiful. Thank you. But when we come on, guys, uh, during this setting, we want to kind of see each other. You know, show up, show out, uh, so that you can just, you know, it's always good. Hey there, Diva, the CBD queen. So, hey, yeah. Diva, how you doing? I'm good today. I've been working today, studying, you know. Oh, you can never stop making it better, seeing how you can perfect just to take your story. And I, I hope I'm good. we're going to have a, a talk on stories, too, because stories are so important. It makes your audience go and want to listen to you so that they can relate to you. And so working and doing that with a story helps in the beginning. And you can use your story, whether you're meeting somebody, maybe in the beauty salon, in a, in a two minute talk and a five minute talk and an hour talk. Your story always makes you more relatable to who you're talking about and not this person that they don't know and that I don't wanna hear what you're saying. But if you can connect on a story, then they'd be like, oh, I can listen to her. Yeah, my question, I know you said, do you feel like now we should be doing our stories first? I, I, but you know, I'm talking about the story, but before, until I can really talk about the story and how, tell you how it's done. I don't want, I just do what you're doing already. Okay. I have a training on story. Okay. It makes you real to strangers, to people that don't know you. Instead of you, them thinking, oh, she's getting ready to sell me something. You know, if you can relate with somebody in the audience, you might not relate with everybody, but if you get one or two, you, you got a winning hand. We're showing ourselves today, y'all. Show up. Get them. We got our hair done, so we're going to have to take a, one yeah. for the team. <laughs> I don't see you, doll. Where you at, doll? Sylvia? Yes. Well, we got two minutes. Doo -doo. I can't believe that we will be into April in less than two weeks. In less than two weeks. And wow. we'll get through with Christmas. Woo. This is unbelievable. Woo. Time is passing so fast. Eight months it's, before Christmas. Right? <laughs> oh, you. when you put it that way, oh my goodness. <laughs> mm. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Dr. Crystal. Who is that girl's night in? That's cute. Who is that? Royal this TV. is Vinay. Hey, Vinay, I like that. Girl's <laughs> night Thank in. You. <laughs> well, we had that was actually from yesterday. We had okay. a uh, Royalty Ten had a event for ladies. Okay. <laughs> All right. All of these things help to expose your, to your business, your business to the next level. The more you expose to people, the more people you have. The speed of the business is the success of the business. I had one, uh, oh, Michelle, is she on here yet? She introduced somebody that was on your, um, your party that night, Vinay, uh, the, the night you guys honored the pillars. And this woman came on that night, and that week she signed up five new people in her I business. know. So you <laughs> I, gotta I've been watching them. I tell you all the time, the new blood in the business is the life of every business. New blood okay. is going to start other people in the team to say, what? They came in here, dear, what? And so yeah. it gets the older people going. Gigi, you know that from experience. Yeah, she came in. She was Absolutely. Excited. Uh huh. She was excited about her new business and she went and shared her business using the steps and signed up five people, every one of them with a crown jewel dispenser. Woo, woo. I, I saw it too. I was like, I'm wow. <laughs> right. I'm talking about your team, Gigi. 
Yes, I know. I know. Um, you're gonna hear some noise in the background. I had to do an open house today, uh -huh. so uh, I'll be in and out. Okay. But anyway, yes, yeah, she's very, very excited, uh -huh. and she's already this week. She will be a uh, a jade. Right. She will be a jade this week. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so she's. Her being, uh, <laughs> as you talk to her, I can see her being a sapphire by the end of the month because she got all she got to do is put all those people together that she brought in. Have they launch parties and boom, she'll be a sapphire. So go for it. Yes. Do it. Hey, we going for it. We going for it. Mm -hmm. She's okay. excited. Okay, guys, I am going to start. Uh, let's give it two more minutes. It's 601 now. Uh, we're still coming on board. Hello, everybody. If you can show your picture, show your picture. I want, I mean, show yourself if you can. I want to see you guys. Oh, so let me tell you, I, I sent this out to a few people. Oh, look at that cute Kathy. I sent this out to a few people. And um, so if you need it, somebody shared it with me. Claudia Muhammad shared it with me. But um, Tennessee State and let me see. Somebody else. I'm going to read it for you guys because this is information we should share and help each other and help our kids. So hold on a second. Okay. So this is what it says. It says, uh, hello, I just got this information and I want to get it out to as many people as possible. It's a short turnaround. Sorry. If you're willing, please help spread the word. Do you know any young black males soon to graduate from high school, 3.5 GPA, who want to go to medical slash dental school? If not, then someone knows and we need to get the information to all black males. So Tennessee State and Meharry are offering an accelerated seven year program and a, and a possible full ride to black males who want to become doctors, dentists. Key, um, so it's urgent, two HB, uh, HBCUs are looking for black male high school students who dream of becoming doctors or dentists. So if anybody needs me to forward this information, if you know somebody, but they need you to act quickly. If you need it, Kathy, I think I sent it to you, but I will send it again. Anybody else? Yeah, Sam. Sam, anybody else? Yes, Carol, Diane, yes. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, I'm gonna write this down because I think this is truly important. Uh, Sam, I got a, a thing full of pens, so none of them work. Who else? Uh, Kathy, but I think I see you, but I will again. Who else? Nightoya. Go back, Lauren. I, I, I told you, what would you have? What would you have put in the subject? I would have. Uh, I texted. That's what I did. So, and if you didn't get it, I'll okay, I'll check. I'll check. I'll check. I'll okay, check. anybody else? I got three: Kathy, Natoya, Elizabeth, Shirley Mac, Lauren, Di Diana Coleman. Billy, send it to me too. This is Gigi. Send it to me. My daughter is a school teacher, so she may know someone that's fine. I thought uh, I sent it to you, but I'll send it again. Now, okay, thank um, you. Maria, Marie. I got Marie. you, Shirley. Anybody Marie else? And Brown. Marie Marie. Anybody else? Yeah, Marie. Naina. Naina Femi. Thank you, Miss Phyllis. Uh huh. Did you say Elizabeth? Did you want it? Okay. Anybody else? Marie. Marie. Eppinger. Okay. Diana Coleman. I got you, Diana. Thank you. Okay. Maria Mitchell. Ma Mitchell? Yes. Got gotcha. you. All Thank right. You. Dolores Irvin. Okay. Please send it to Dr. Crystal. Dr. Crystal, yes, I can. Uh-huh. Anybody else? Bertha Mines, how you doing? I'm good. 
Anybody else? Good. Good evening, Phyllis. I'm chiming in late. Um, what do what are you taking names for? I do apologize. Who is this? This is Charlotte Smith. Charlotte, I will just send it to you, and you can figure out if you need it. Thank you so much. Okay. Sheila, uh, Sheila Glenn. Okay. Oh, hey, y'all, guess what I'm going to do? This is so <laughs> I'm going to put it on Wakana for Life Facebook group page. Then right. everybody thank can go and get it. You. We got to thank, um, we have to thank Claudia Muhammad because she shared it with me. And I know it's legit because the uh, dean, the ex-dean, um, Barbara Murrell, is a very good friend of mine. So her, she is in part of, you know, working with the group. So I know it's real. So um, I'll put it on the Facebook group and everybody can have access to it, okay? Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Right, and I, let's help our young people, especially black males, get what they need. So I already said, we're gonna go on and get started. Um, I to talked about, uh, Pastor Dan is going to be coming on, hopefully, before we're finished. But I know we talked about doing three ways, talking about doing three ways. And I also have the top three teams um, that are competing. Out of the 16 that we have, we have the top three. So I'll announce that, give you where you are so that you can know. And this is not including this week because this, this is including from the beginning until uh, last Sunday, because Sunday closes the week, okay? So I didn't include this week, but you guys uh, will kind of know where you are, the top three, and it's still time. It's anybody's game, uh, so you just got to get to work. But one of the things that we talk about, I always say utilize the three-way. And then the other thing I thought about was, you can always tell people, you know, and use language, uh, that they might not be familiar with. And sometimes you don't want to ask the question because you think you should know it. But if you don't know it, that puts you at a handicap. So I'm just going to, you know, start um, sharing, explaining what things are for and why you want to do them. Because then maybe you'll get it. And like I tell you all the time, if I knew the value of a three-way, I would have accelerated my business and I wasted time not utilizing that three-way because it's so powerful. And so what, most of the time when you're talking about a three-way, you're talking about doing a call with a prospect, a prospect with your upline. Usually that upline is your sponsor. But in many cases, if you and your sponsor just started a week in, in between, it might be their sponsor. So you can go up into somebody that's well, um, aware and knowledgeable about the company that you're in. And a lot of times the three way, once you start talking to a new person in the two or three times after you've talked to them, you come become kind of familiar. And so it's always good to bring in someone else to do the clothes. And the clothes is, um, you know, you might share the videos and you might follow up with that person and you're going to always say, and there's a reason, guys, not what you think, always, what did you like best? Why do you want to do that? Because that's going to make sure that they give you something back positive. That don't open. If you like, what did you like best? Well, you got to, that person got to think about, well, I like that the product, you know, immediately works for people that might be in discomfort or well, I like that you can get started and have no, uh, I don't have to build my website. My business is all right there in a box. So they got to come back with something. Well, I am excited about four African-American women founding the company. So anytime you're giving them that what did you like best, they got to come back with something positive, nothing negative. And that's what we want. Now, if they tell you they like a product and they really could use that, 
then you might say right then and there, well, are you ready to get my website address and we uh, go over there and look at some products that might work for you, especially if they're talking about all the products, not talking about the business. You know, sometimes you don't need a three-way in this instance. If they're telling you about they know people with pain or they have pain and they need some relief, then you can just direct them to the website, show them and let's talk about some products. Okay, but if it's a question that they're asking and that you don't have the answer for, and if you're brand new, there might be a lot of questions you don't have the answer for. Don't ever feel bad. So many people put off earning money and getting busy in their business because they think they gotta know everything. And this is truly a business that you earn as you learn. And so when you say, you're turning around and you're saying, well, you know what? Um, Elizabeth, I really don't have the answer for that. I just got started, but I have someone that can answer mostly all of your questions. Do you mind? I'm going to get them on the phone. I don't know if they're available because they're really busy, but let me try. So now, you don't want to tell them, oh, I'm going to get the head of the top salesperson because people get turned off. What you want to do is let them know that you want them to have the best possible answers that they can have and that you might not be able to do that. And so you ask them for a moment, you know, I'm going to get this person on the phone. I don't know if they're available because they're very busy, but I'm going to see. But in the meantime, you have talked to your sponsor and you have said, I got some follow-ups that I'm going to do today. I might be possibly calling you for a three-way so that you get your sponsor. Don't catch them off guard. They know that they're going to, and don't feel like, oh, I don't want to call them. Yeah, you want to call them because that's what, if I brought you into the business, that's what I'm supposed to do. So don't always, you know, people tell me, I didn't want to bother you. Bother me. You're not bothering me. You're building your business. I brought you in. That's part of what I do. That's part of why you're going to get, when you do the same thing, you're going to get a commission for doing that because you supported them. Once you let your uh, sponsor know that you're doing a three-way, that you might have some people that you want to do a three-way with, when you get them on the phone with your prospect, you must edify. So at first, you don't want to really edify to the prospect because they get scared off like i don't want to be so i know this person is gone no i want you to get all the questions that you have answered but when you get that party on that your upline on you can say um sam i'm excited to share tell you that i have uh, Kathy Weathersby on the line with us. She is my sponsor. I'm really excited to build, work with her. One thing about Kathy, she is a leader in the company, Sapphire, and she helps everybody. And if she doesn't know the answer to any of your questions, she will definitely find out for us. And guess what? That's what you do. That's all you do. Once you edify Kathy, once she is there to answer the questions, you don't say another word. Now, that might be hard, but you don't say a word. What you do do is listen to Kathy and how she handles this situation, okay? Because that's your learning opportunity. That's you going to school. And what Kathy is going to say, more than likely, is, how you doing, Elizabeth? Well, I'm glad. Well, you know that Sam is one of our newest people, but he is a real go-getter. So you are in great hands. So Kathy is going to give it back to Sam because that's Sam's prospect, okay? And then Kathy is going to say, well, Elizabeth, what did you like best about what you heard? And she might even say, what are you currently doing? She wants to get a little information about Elizabeth so that she knows how to answer her questions, you know, any objections she has. If she has no conversation with Elizabeth, she has nothing to fall back on. So she might ask her what she's currently doing. How is that working with her? What interested her about the cannabis industry when Sam uh, asked her? So, you know, Kathy is going to get in a two, three minute 
conversation, a little information about Elizabeth. Now, Sam is going to be quiet because this is it. He is taking notes. He is listening to Kathy because this is what Sam is going to be doing and duplicating for the people he brings in. This is how you learn. As you're earning, you're learning. And so at the end of that conversation, that might not be the close. Then um, Elizabeth this might need a little more information. But at the end of that, I'm going to ask her, well, what's keeping you from getting started with us tonight? Elizabeth might say, I just might need a little more information. Fine. Tonight we have our corporate Zoom call at 8 p.m. And I'm going to make sure that Sam gets you that link. And after that call, let's schedule us doing a follow-up so at that point, I can answer any other questions for you, okay? And sometimes it might be after the Zoom call. So on the Zoom call, again, when I talk to Elizabeth, the prospect of Sam, now she's seen three videos and she's seen a Zoom. And now Sam gets me on the phone with Elizabeth. Same conversation. If I've never talked to her before, I'm still going to go through that little time of getting to know her a little bit so I can know how if she has any objections. So um, you saw the uh, video and you saw the Zoom. I'm excited about our company and what we're doing. So Elizabeth, what number are you? Are you a number one, number two, or number three? If she just got off of that Zoom, most Zooms are closed with asking that person what number they are. And it's also saying that your person is going to call you up and ask you what number you are. So now Elizabeth is going to say she's a number three. And I'm going to say, what questions do you have, Elizabeth? And she might have a few questions. And so she's going to say, well, I want to think about it. And I'm like, so what is it that you have to think about? We have, you've gone over it. I just want to know, and not no forcing. I just want to know, what do you have to think about? What's stopping you from getting started tonight is a better question. What's stopping you, Elizabeth, from getting started tonight? Um, well, I really wanted to think about it, and I think I like to pray over things. Well, let's pray now, Elizabeth. We can get right here, and we can pray right now. I'm all for prayer, but we can do that right now because you know what? You must have been looking for something. You might have been. I believe that that's what, because I know when I found this, I wasn't looking for it. And so let's go on and get that prayer out the way and let's go on and get your business started. Now, if she still resists, I'm going to say fine. So when do you want Sam to follow up with you tomorrow? Is the afternoon or evening better? So you never, you never miss the opportunity to close someone and you don't do it pushy. I'm not pushy. She said that she liked it. She said she wanted to make more money. She, I know some things about her because she's getting ready to retire. We talked about that in that little conversation we had. And so now I'm setting her up. Go on, let's get started because you can start getting your retirement you're going to do that. We can start doing that now. And you got a team, myself and Sam, here to support you. And that's the truth, because if Sam is the person I sponsor, I'm going to definitely help Elizabeth, because that's what we do. Any questions? And do you understand the importance? The importance of the three-way is that and the importance of edifying. A lot of people want to edify the prospect. Oh my God, she owns 50 stores and she uh, is doing this and that. In this instance, it's not the prospect that needs to be blown up. It is your sponsor because what it does is allow saying this sponsor is, this prospect is saying, this woman took time out to talk to me 
took the time out to see what it was I wanted out of this business and how she could help me in it. And she's doing all these things. She is a sapphire in the company. She's helping other teams, got a busy schedule, but she took the time out to see how she could support me in my business. That's the reason you're edifying whoever is talking to your prospect. It's not just to give somebody the big head. It's to actually let this person know, here's somebody that's qualified to answer these questions. Here's somebody that's successful in this industry. Any questions thus far? And I need you all to, I need you all to ask the questions you need because there's a science to everything you do in this industry. There's a reason for everything. And if you get those reasons, you'll start doing them automatically. I don't think about, even if it's my person, I'm closing with somebody, I'm going to call somebody to get a three-way. Because after you talk to that person two or three times, they'd be like, oh, they, oh that's Phyllis calling again. So let me get an expert on. And it doesn't matter that I'm uh, the CSO of the company or any of that. I really don't have that big conversation about that if I'm really just bringing somebody into the business to be with me. So my Mitchell is saying, Kathy, could you look in the chat for me on the questions? If you see, oh, thank you, my Mitchell. I thought you had a question, but thank you anyway. <laughs> I was just gonna tell you what she said. Okay, anybody have any questions? Nah, Diva, I like your comments saying that they say they need to pray on it. You saying, hey, let's do it right now. I've I'm, I'm, I'm got my eyes closed already. Let's get right. started. That's right. And my thing is that can be with anything. And you can say, I know how you felt because I felt that I never felt that way because I make a decision like that. But something about, I know how you felt because I hear that all the time. Whatever you say, you want it to be the truth. So I couldn't say I felt that way because I don't. If I make a decision, it's there and I'm going on. But I can say, I know how you feel because many people feel that way. But is it really, you saw something you like, you have a need, we solve a problem. What are you waiting on? So, okay. Anybody else got questions? Phyllis, what happens when you do all that and then you turn around to go back for the close the next day when they say, um, call me tomorrow. I have a need. I want to get, take, uh, get something for the pain for my mom. This, it will work for me. Um, also, the edibles will work for my son's business. And then when you are trying to reach them, they yeah, have their um, goals. Their their goals. goals. Yes. Yeah. You just, so in my case, I text them. If I can't get them on the phone, I text them and I say, hey, Elizabeth, we were scheduled today. Um, maybe something came up. What's better for you tonight or tomorrow? And if I don't hear from them, I'll put them on my uh, my schedule to talk to them. You finish doing what you're doing, but I know it's about time for you to sign out, right? Okay, so Shirley, you're unmuted. Okay, so I will text them because life does happen. We all know. So you, I'll text them. Would you say, please, Elizabeth? I um, we were scheduled to talk today to get you started. So is uh, today still good or tomorrow better? If I don't get a response or anything, um, I might call again in three days, and then I'll put that person on my schedule for next month. I never give up on anybody because life does happen. I will follow up that day that I'm supposed to, like I did, I had a doctor that was supposed to come in Friday, called him every, before up until the, the day he committed to join, when I called him, he answered his phone right then. Friday, he didn't answer his phone, I got his voicemail. I, I did text him, didn't call him anymore. Today I called him, same thing, no answer, I text him. So now I won't call him anymore until maybe next month, maybe the middle of the month. Because everybody, whatever's happening, it doesn't necessarily mean that they don't want to be in business. You know, and that's why you always want to put them on your Facebook page. It's because you never know how. And, oh, and I'm so glad I've said Facebook because I got to tell y'all something. But you always want to add them to the Facebook page so that they can see what's going on in Wakana and you're not calling them every day, okay? So you put them on the back burner. 
always put them on the Facebook page. You know, sometimes in that three minute, that three videos, I always say, hey, I'm gonna also add you to the Facebook page. Make sure you accept the invitation. Okay, so guys, you guys are putting people. Hey, Cheryl, are you? I got a question. Oh, okay. I thought you was waving at me. I'm getting ready to start waving back. I always ask them, do they want to be added to the Facebook group? Because some of the people don't want to go in the group. Well, I don't ask. I say, I'm going to send you the Facebook page. Will you accept the invitation? Then it's up to them. Anytime you ask a question, of somebody, they can always say no. I don't let them say no. I say, I'm going to send it. Now, it's up to, still up to them. I can't automatically add them. You know, I can send them the invitation. And they're only going to get on there if they accept it. So it just, you know what? When you ask something, it's like you're not sure your stuff. I'm confident. I'm going to send you this invitation. And I hope you get on, you know, because you get a lot of information. So, and then they think they're missing out something if they don't get on it. So stop asking them. Just tell them you're going to do it. And then it's up to them still. Either way, it's up to them, okay? But when you're doing it, it's like you got confidence in this. And if you don't get on this page, you missing out something on something, okay? So this is something I've been wanting to tell you guys because I know you're adding people to the Wakana Massive Action page, and you are meaning to add them to the Wakana for Life page. There's no reason for you to add anybody to the Wakana Massive Action page because that's just for us that are doing this exercise. So, so many of you are sending people to that page where I know you really want to send them to Wakana for Life, okay? So just know that because you want them on Wakana for Life but we're the only ones that are dealing with this page, okay? And I just know it's a mistake. So are there any questions? You had two in the chat. Oh, okay. One person say, what is a good time to close? Is there a certain time of the day, I guess? Yeah, question? no, well, let me look at the question. What is a good time? You know, it all depends on the question. That's why, it's all, yeah, if you're closing them, you definitely sign them up. Don't you say, if you're closing them and they're ready to close and sign up, that's what you take them. You send them to the website or your, their, your website on their device, on their device. You want them to sign up on your website, on their phone, their laptop, their tablet, whatever, okay? And, uh, and so, you know, that's going to depend on the person. You know, sometimes people say, hey, I'm ready. Very seldom do they say they're ready after the three um, videos, but they might want to buy product after the three videos. So that's why you're asking questions. What did you like best? I like that I could get some relief from this pain in my hip. Well, wow, sounds like you want to buy some product, you know, because that's where the emphasis is. So you can put that in there. They can also say, oh, no, I need to know something else. Then you lead them to another event, uh, a webinar. You all, we got enough events to lead them to. And when you get the idea in your head that this business is about event to event to event, you know, the more information they get, the more comfortable they are, the more ready they are to make a decision. Remember, seven exposures is the normal exposure time that most people take to make a decision. Uh, Phyllis, this is yeah. uh, Ma Mitchell. How you doing? Hey, Ma Mitchell. I got to repeat it, honey. You the bomb. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Now, uh, what I, I, you had talked about, or someone mentioned it at uh, one of the uh, last meetings, uh, when your uh, upline, your immediate upline is uh, either as new as you are or not doing anything. And, and then the, the, the next step is to go, go up. Exactly. Okay. I just, so yeah, I just wanted to reiterate that because that's what I had to do. My sponsor was new mm -hmm. and she was maybe two weeks in before me. Right. <laughs> and, uh, and then, but when she sent me upline, and, and, and also she had to move away to California. But when she sent me up line, I was a little nervous about calling Dr. Dr. Pat. 
And so, because that was what's in my mind. Oh, she, she's busy. She's a senator. She doesn't have time. And, but that's what I did. I started shaking my head and my head to let go the fear. So if there's anybody out there that's fearful, okay, I, I don't want to go to the next person. Phyllis is too busy. Dr. Pat is too busy. You know, I had to put that out. It took me a while though. It, it uh, does. It does. And I know it takes, it's not just you, my Mitchell. It's everybody. That's why I'm saying there is no way I'm going to invite you in this business or invite your sponsor in this business and know you're there and I'm not going to be there to help you. So yeah. that's it. I want you guys to get that. It doesn't matter what, who it is. It doesn't matter who, if that's your upline, you are able, you're supposed, you're able to go to them. And if you're not, keep on going. Nobody is going to deny me. If I, you know, if I came into a company and I needed some help, I'm going to find me some help. Come on. And so you get, if that person right over you don't do it, go to the next one, you know, go to the next one. So you got a pretty strong upline too. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, there's somebody. Don't feel like you are bothering anybody because this is what we do. Phyllis. Yes. Hi, this is Naina. Hi, hi. I have a little different situation. There was a, a prospect who was uh, contacted by my husband, who is my partner, mm -hmm. and she seemed very interested in the business. So I did make contact. I sent her the videos and uh, she wanted more information. I sent her to the website. After she went to the website, uh, then she kind of began to fade because she's complaining about the prices. So in her particular case, I'm wondering, should we set up a three-way with this woman? I, I, I don't send people to my website until it's time to order or something like that. The next event would have been one of the Zoom calls. And if it's going to be too expensive, so that would be my first thing. The website, unless the person has said, I just want to be a customer, fine. Even she wants to look at the products. Can you okay. repeat that, Phyllis? Can you repeat what you just said, if you don't mind? I, I was just saying, I don't send people to my website as a um, a habit. I would take them to the website. And if it's an issue about the products, then we would have a talk about the products. You know, when she's saying, well, you're talking about quality products. We have quality organic products. I would talk to her about what we have, but I would, you know, kind of send her, take her to the, let's go to the website right now. You know, so anything that you have to address, you can address right then and there. Okay, so in but when, this, but when you say you normally, I wouldn't send them to the website. I would send them to another event. But you said that she wanted to know more about the product. So yeah, I guess you would yeah, have. Yeah, she sent actually them. wanted to look at the products. Uh huh. And uh, that's why I sent her to the web. So what do you think? Uh, should you know what should I do with the situation? Well, uh, what did she say? What were her, what what did she just say to you about? She said. Uh, well, she didn't tell me. She told him. Mm -hmm. She said, well, these products are kind of expensive. I'm going to continue to look at the information a little more. Okay. So then you need to get on the phone because she, what information is she going to look at? Get her on one of the Zooms. You know, if she's saying she's going to look at the information, what information? Here's the information that's going to give her uh, the facts about what kind of and what kind of products. So why don't you engage her in getting on one of the Zooms, get on tomorrow's Zoom. Now, did she state that she had any issues, medical issues? Is she in discomfort or anything? She did not state that. She seemed really excited because when the initial, well, this is between the two of them, when he contacted her, she started right off saying that she had wanted to get into the business. Okay. The who initially contacted her disappeared. Uh huh. So that's the deal. I wouldn't have sent her to the con. I would have sent her to an event. So I always send them to the events because that's what they're going to get more information. And so if you see and hear testimonies about how these products are working, price does not really matter once value is there. So I just wouldn't send them to the website. I always send them to the next event. Mm -hmm. The okay. three way is an event. 
the, and those are tools. You have to use your tools and you have plenty of tools to use. So definitely use your tools. If she, definitely if she expressed uh, information about the business, I would have sent her to an event. Mm -hmm. That's, I know it had to be an event unless it was Sunday or Friday. There's an event every day or two or three of them. Okay, so I'll try to get her to an event. Yeah, call her up and tell her tomorrow night it's an excellent event. You need to tune in and see more about what kind of and how they do the business. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? It's not really a question, Phyllis, but I'd like to get your take or share your take on, it's kind of similar to what you said going in that same vein about not sending people to your website, but I'd like you to speak more on when someone signs up, what is your thought on walking them through versus sending them to the website? Uh, I, that okay. is your duty, Kathy. You know me. See, I take it really serious because I'm serious about what I'm doing. I want the best possible results. I don't want to just sign you up and say, oh, you do this, that, and the other, because you got to have people falling through the cracks, especially if they've never been in business for themselves. So anytime you know there is, there's a sales academy training on success academy there's tuesday night with bev and terry i think that's a great thing but i think you are missing the boat if you don't sit down and onboard your new person coming into your business yourself because you cannot they can't know my mentor if i had onboarded you i would have been telling you that here i am your upline who's the next in line, this is what you're supposed to do, don't have a problem about calling me. And you know, I have people tell me, oh, Phyllis is gonna be, I don't get mad. I have, I'm just who I am. Y'all been around me long enough to know when you call me, you tell me you got a three-way, I'm on it. <laughs> I'm on it. You know, again, the things that do get me is when you call me and ask me for something that you could look up yourself. That, that gets me. Because now you're saying, that's not what you're supposed to do. You're a leader. Go find, write all those calls down. Write what you need down to do it. Don't ask me those things. But you tell me you want me to do a grand opening. I got a three-way. I got this. I'm there. Because that's what you, I signed on to do being a distributor. Does that help, Kathy? <laughs> Do it. Yeah, I just really wanted to get your take on that because right. um, I, I absolutely agree, but I think that perhaps someone else maybe needed to hear that. And other the people, other part other is there are Success Academy training. You can go learn and do that, but at the end of the day, it's so much easier when I call it onboarding. I think onboarding, meaning my new person came in and within 48 hours, we're going to sit down and we're going to go over the sales academy training. We're going to go over your why and your goals. I'm going to ask you, can I hold you accountable? I'm going to ask you how long you, do you think you want to be from dependent to independent? I'm going to ask you for your three launch parties. I'm going to do all that. Does everybody follow through all the time? No, that's not your fault. You're supposed to do it whether they follow through or not. You are supposed to do your part. And then going through that website is a little, just taking them through because this is how you're going to lay in bed and make money 24 seven. If you properly train that person and they duplicate what you show them. That's how that happens. It don't happen by osmosis. I love onboarding. I have used that ever since I heard you say it yeah, it's because people that are used to onboarding in corporate America Absolutely. get that yeah. and they know that it's a process of being acclimated to the, to the, um, to the formula, to the, right. to the, to the company's process. So I've, I've used that ever since I heard you say it. I love that. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing that. I really, um, and the other you. thing about it is, this is real business, guys. This business can do whatever you want. Is it going to happen overnight? No. It's not going to happen overnight. You know, I mean, there are some times that you get lucky and some stuff happens, but you are, this is an ongoing building. But I promise you, if you build this thing three to five years, you never have to look back. 
never have to look back. And they say the first five years of most businesses that you spend out tons of money, because remember, that's why it was so attractive to me, this business model, because I didn't have to shell out hundreds of thousands of dollars. I didn't have to be responsible for all the things. I just had to go out there and talk to people and build. That's all you have to do. And people get frustrated when the first year they ain't made what they want. But you know, it's a lot of times that you gotta have to learn and relearn and relearn some stuff because you never get it the first time. And, and that's, I'm speaking from my own experience. So I know we are not all that different, but I wanna speed up your thing. The success of any business is the speed. Why put off having your grand opening? Why put off, all of that's back to back. When you hot and excited, you should get the people you know involved, looking at your business and going on there, going on social media, talking to new people, putting out posts so that you can get new people. Every day, if you guys are following the activity sheet, if you go out there and make a, a post, a reactive, interactive post, if you go say happy birthday to somebody on their message, um, all of that's on the activity street. If you all do those things, you'll have tons of new people to talk to, and you're never running out of people to share this new business with. Any more questions? I have a, a product question. Yeah. I noticed that, um, okay, we have the Wakana.com and the Wakanaforlife.com. Mm -hmm. And when I went on Wakana for Life, I saw Delta 8. So do we have to, um, is that on purpose or? Okay, so if you all um, want to share with all the products we sell on um, Wakanda for Life, there are going to be certain products. But if you want them to have the full experience, I always send people to Wakanda.com. Oh, okay, I didn't realize how, how that worked. Okay. Okay. Thank you. No problem, Marguerite. Anybody else? Diva, can I make a comment? Uh, um, uh, this is Fatima. Can you repeat that one time? You said Wakana.com? You have the one all that your products. All? all your products are on Wakana.com. On Wakana, because we're using different merchants, so if you want uh, to have access to all the products, they're going to always be on Wakana.com. This is Maggie Carter. I'm just, I hear you. I'm not really confused, but I do know clearly that we were told that the Wakana.com site was for us and the Wakanaforlife.com is where we should send our customers. So are you telling us something different now? I'm telling you that if you want the full spectrum of everything we sell, whether it's you, your distributors, or your customers, you will go to Wakana.com. Phyllis, can I say something about that? Absolutely. Okay. Um, when when um, Melissa first told us about that, and some other of the leaders too, they were they were just saying that the WakandaForLife.com was more uh, customer and user friendly. And let me just say this: this industry is forever changing. Forever yes. Changing. So what we said back then did apply. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, if you want everything that we sell, you got to, because remember, on the new, the Wakanda for Life, we're using a, 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 a U.S. merchant, okay? So U.S. merchants don't allow, some merchants don't allow Delta 8, some don't allow this, some don't allow that. So if you want everything we sell, it's Wakanda.com. So back when uh, you heard that, Maggie and uh, Ma Mitchell, that mm -hmm. was when things were like that. But now right. we're doing something else. And whatever we do is always trying to take us to another level. Okay. Thank Can you. Can I say something, Phyllis? Absolutely. So just to, um, I had to get that clarity too, because um, with the dot .com and with my other website, I just recently found out that the dot .com has been uh, upgraded. So everything is being geared toward dots com. So you're going to just have better success. So I was kind of like confused about it, but I have clarity on it. Mm -hmm. 
It has been upgraded. Don't say better success because Wakanda for Life serves a big purpose. Wakanda for Life is a U.S. merchant. A lot of times there is extra uh, monies charged when you use the international account. But the international account means we can have every product on there. So I'm not saying better. I'm saying if you want access to everything we sell, Wakanda.com. Wakanda for Life is our going to be our U.S. merchant. And, you know, we definitely, you're right, Mooney, the industry changes and we have to stay up on it and we have to stay. And so we try our best to do that. So, yeah. So I just one more thing. So dot com is like global and the life would be United States, right? No. no. As as far as merchants are concerned, we don't go global. If you mean global, meaning that is our international merchant. We can't sell international yet. When no, I was saying dot com gets you yeah. global. No, so. the global merchant, not global we can't go out of the u.s yet i got you okay, okay. all right no problem that better way is so we, dot com and some things are not on wakanda for life got you so when a customer purchases from the uh, wakanda.com site um, they are going to be charged the international fee no, but no, if they are purchasing from the no, wakanda no, 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 for no. life Sometimes some people, some banks, when they're purchasing from the dot com site, get international charges. Anybody here that ha that happens to has happened to? Yes, it happens to me each time. Okay. Yes, all the yes. time. Okay. okay. So all this is so we needed a U.S. merchant, so that couldn't happen. So if you're being charged that, and you're ordering something that's on Wakanda for Life, then I'd order it from Wakanda for Life. Delta, Delta 8 can't be on Wakanda for Life. Hmm. They're both dot .com, but one is Wakanda Wakanda for life. Com one is, is the Wakanda U.S. For merchant. It's, I just want to mirror that back to you. The Wakanda.com is the U.S. merchant. The Wakanda for Life dot com is the international. Is that correct? That's backwards. It's backwards. It's backwards. Yeah. So restate. Let me mirror it back to you again. The Wakanda for Life is the U.S. The Wakanda dot com is international. Which you've so, all um, been using from the time you came into the company. Right. So to avoid the surplus charges from the bank, it is best to use the Wakana.com. Is that correct? Wakana for no. Life is the page that does is the US merchant. But it also Wakana. doesn't have everything on it. Yes, but for those things that it does, it's best to use that. Wakana for life.com for the products that we want to use, it's best to use that site in order to avoid those surplus charges. You got it. Did Thank I mirror you. that right? You mirrored that right, Diana. Thank you. For the lead page. Anybody else? Diva, can I make a comment? You can. Uh, also, when you want to have a customer or you kind of confuse, get their email. You can actually go on your page, go to hit that product and email them. When, they, when you email it to them, they're able to go directly to that product if you're trying to keep your customer as well. You know what? I, just, I, I tried to do that. That hasn't been working for me lately. I have the email. Uh, someone, I have said, uh, someone said that something is wrong. I told Melissa, so she's looking into that. I just did it today and it worked. I love that feature. Yeah, it, it did. Maybe not on because we talked about it mm, Friday or yesterday, maybe. And that is such a cool yes, feature. It is. <laughs> it stops the yeah. But then. But then you always want to sign that customer up as a customer. 
You know, that's good. Like Delta 8, I have sent that out to so many people that during it, using that email. But I always want them to get signed up because, you know, people are always going to remember Wakana. And that's how uh, people's customers end up on the admin site. So you want to definitely always remember to share, to uh, do that. So guys, let's talk about massive action. Uh, I want you all, it's time to step up the game, guys. Step up the game. Because it is here, it is time. And I just want to know how many of you, hey, show me in the chat, shout it out. How many of you full-time people are talking to 10 people a day, five days a week? Just tell me, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Ain't nobody telling me nothing. I don't see that chat box ringing. I'm I don't see I'm that chat box. Uh, uh, internet is down right now. Give us a second. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, I just, okay, I got some stuff right here. Uh, who is that? Mm -hmm. I know it. It's called massive action. We're doing things right now that we don't normally do. And we probably, after this 90 days, won't be doing it again anytime soon. But the whole thing about massive action is doing something that you don't normally do to take you somewhere you had never have been. <laughs> so, but some days I do. She says, it's hard for me. Right now, it's a challenge, but I'm doing better and improving. So I just want you all to just commit to yourself. Okay, if I talk to, I didn't talk to 10 people, but try to get to 10, try to hit 10. You know, go for it. I'm looking at the numbers, so I know that a lot of people aren't hitting 10 if they are, I mean, if anybody. But I do want you all to put an effort in to hit the 10. If you're full time. So do you all have any questions for me? Phyllis, I have another question. Yes, okay. ma'am. Okay. I wanted to respond to a post on Facebook that dealt with a particular health issue. And mm -hmm. Dr. Rita has the perfect Whoa. video oh. to deal oh. with that particular issue. Meridian, you're unmuted. Okay. okay. Thank you, dear. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So she has the perfect video to deal with the issue. However, it leads in with uh, CBD. Is there a way to deal with that on Facebook without? Uh... First of all, I would talk to that person in their messenger. I wouldn't put it down on the post in the feed. You never want to talk your business. You might get ideas from people that you want to connect with, but you always go messenger them. You don't put it in the feed. So it's okay to put a video in Messenger that deals with CBD? But you need to, what, what was the question? Let me hear what you saw to see where you're, you're going. You're talking so about a pain see. issue that, that they have not been able to resolve. Uh-huh. So I, I would go to in Messenger and say, hey, my name is Naima. You mentioned about being uh, having a discomfort. And I, I don't know if this works for you, but I have uh, some information that might be helpful. And I will show them the three videos. Mm -hmm. So I won't get put in Facebook prison if I put the video on there? You're messengering them. You're not talking in the feed. Because you don't, people don't want, I mean, now if they told you that they were in pain, but I'm just telling you the etiquette. You want to go to the messenger and talk to just them. Yeah, what I'm trying to understand, the message... No, you're not going to be put in Facebook jail. Okay. Uh, that's a part of Facebook, right? You know who... Okay, what did you say? I was saying that the messenger is actually a part of Facebook, right? But you're not going to be put in jail for sharing that. I share videos all the time. I share Dr. Rita's... It, it, whatever I want to share, I share it through a DM, a direct message, as opposed mm -hmm. to on the feed. No, okay. Diva, she's trying to say nobody could see it, but you and that other person. That's it. Nobody else will be able to see whatever you send in Messenger. Okay. I'm not saying Facebook won't say it. I'm saying that it won't bother. I mean, it won't do anything. And none of the stuff 
that we're saying, I sent all my videos through uh, Messenger. Anybody else? Phyllis, I have a question. I got on a little bit late, but um, have anybody heard anything about um, the leads? Uh, they are still trying to work through that situation on what they can actually say when she starts, when they start sending the ads out. So I know oh. the guy is, uh, Stephen is working on that, but you don't okay. want to start sending ads out because the ads cost money. And once you yes. start sending them out, you don't want us to get shut down because if they shut us down, then they're going to be, uh, eyeball is going to be on us. So they're trying to work that so that we can have a good run once the ads start. Okay, so that's thank where you. we are. Phyllis, this is Karen. Hi, Karen. Hi. Can you talk about the 420 event and how many tickets we all need to sell? And I'm so glad you brought that up. I think this is our anniversary, our second year. And I think that you all would be doing anybody you know a disservice if you did not share this conference with them. I don't know how many of you guys were on there. This is gonna be our wealth. This is uh, our wealth pillar. So each pillar has a conference and wealth happens to fall on the, um, uh, the anniversary also. So um, I don't know how many of you all were on when we shared the uh, cryptocurrency training with uh, Michelle Renee. Absolutely phenomenal training. And you know, I know you all hear about different programs out there and about, about uh, cryptocurrency. This is not network marketing. This is just knowledge on the blockchain and cryptocurrency. This is a part of wealth building. This was a part of our vision when we put Wakanda together to be able to bring air education to our distributors of the current things and trends that are happening in our world. So as you're making money in, in, in Wakana, here's a, 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 a good investment vehicle that's here to stay. And what she shared on that video, uh, I mean, at the training that we, she did was excellent. And she's going to be our key, I don't know if she's our keynote, but I know she's going to have an excellent uh, presentation. So I would, I've already bought 10 VIP tickets for every VIP, VIPs are gone. But I think each and every one of you should be, especially that you're in massive action, you should be a, at least going for five guests, five guests to, to be in attendance. Because I'm going to tell you, when you're sitting there listening to the conference, you're going to say, dang, I wish I had some guests here. Because they're going to join the business. They're going to join the business. That's what conferences are for, you're, to build your business. So uh, Karen, as many as you can buy, you should. I bought mine because this is my deal. I mean, we're in massive action. There's people that I know that are gonna, that I don't even know who the tickets are for, but I know they're gonna be for somebody, a new prospect in my business or a new uh, team member that's joined the business. That they okay. aren't in yet, but they'll have a VIP ticket. Uh-huh. Gotcha. So does the VIP include a guest pass? Yes. Okay. But the VIPs are gone. Right. So oh, I, the, bought, I already bought mine. I just okay, perfect. perfect. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh-huh. Anybody else? So let me just say something else because, again, knowledge is power, and you can't uh, blame anybody if you've never shared something with them. So... I've been in, in, in this industry full time since 2010. I had dibbed and dabbed in this industry before, you know, while I had my full time business, okay? But in network marketing, in your contract that you sign, if you decide that you want to do another business, it's fine. It's always fine. You are the master of your castle. But doing so, you cannot recruit anybody from your existing company being uh, Wakanda unless you personally sponsor. Anything else is a violation. Now, and a violation, and all of that is in your 
rules and regulations that you signed off on when you came, became a, a part of Wuhan. So I'm just saying this, nobody's trying to hold you prisoner. But on the other hand, you can do whatever you want to do. You just cannot go into the organization and recruit people. And so let's give, I always like to give examples. Suppose you have worked diligently building your business, building your business, and then someone you met in the business, you all are not related as far as organizations, but you know, we become a family. And you go and you recruit somebody else's person from that business, sharing another business, you're just disrupting their whole business. And that's just not right. That's not an integrity thing. So I wouldn't, I left a company. Every time we leave a company, we leave it intact. We don't recruit people that we know that would come with us, but it's about having integrity. We recruit people that we personally sponsor, but we don't go down into the organization. I might have been in a company that I've trained, different people didn't have anything to do with me. And if I left, they would want to go, but I never would try to recruit them because it's just, you want, you, once you don't have your word, your word is everything. So I bring, say this to you because there's a lot of shiny objects out there and people tend to think that they're going to go somewhere else and make tons of money. But guess what? If you follow the system, all the systems are the same. So the same system you use in, at Wakana, you're going to have to use anywhere else. You're going to take yourself with you no matter where you go. So if you didn't do and use the system to get where you're supposed to be in Wakana, if you don't talk to people and they don't do and you don't train them and they don't use the system, you're not going to be successful somewhere else. This is a business. It does take businesses three to five years before you start doing what you do because there's a learning curve. So just keep that in mind. So I say that because sometimes people don't know. They don't know that they found something that they thought was great and that they can go recruit everybody. No, think about these people are building an organization and you think you can come and just say, hey, let's go over here and do that. And don't think you can really build two or three businesses. So I'm just saying that to give people knowledge because if it's uh, if, without knowing, you might do it. But knowing it could be a violation and you will get a warning and then it'll be other violations because you have to protect your business. Okay, I said that because that had to be said. So any other questions? I love your integrity. I love that. I respect and appreciate that. And I love that. Yeah, if you don't have it, you have really- You don't have anything, exactly. Kudos to you, Phyllis. Thank you. <laughs> As usual, oh. Miss Phyllis, you're my shiro. You're included. Oh, thank you, Shirley. Thank, thank you, you thank for being you, you Miss Phyllis. Thank you. That's awesome. Well, this is Karen again. I have a part two to my 420 question. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. No, no. We're on track. Is there a max of uh, seats available? Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, the VIP. Oh, yeah. Finish your question, Karen. Well, I did. I know with Zoom, there's different buy-in levels. And so I know at the health conference, we had over 200 odd people. I didn't know how, how high can we go this time? We can go as high as we need to. Okay. So it's right now it's at 500, but we can okay. take it to a thousand. Great. So, okay. Yeah, you don't have a problem. And you know that the VIPs are the people that are gonna be on the screen. Like we oh. looking at each other right now. Yes. Uh, and so everybody else won't be able to be seen, but okay. they'll still have the full conference advantage. All right. Thank you. That was what I wanted to make sure of. Okay. Y'all ready to hear the top three teams in the company? I mean, in the Massive Action Group? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Right. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yay, yay. Let's do it. Oh, I'm excited to tell y'all. Oh, I should start at number three. Let me get my little notebook out. And then, let me just throw this in there right, real quick while she's yeah. getting... Yeah, y'all, what's up, boy? I didn't know you were here. 
no, no, listen, you've done well. It didn't need neither, both of us. But I wanted to thank you for always being consistently you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you for your passion and your commitment to the success of every person that's on this Zoom call and the success of Wakana. And so you know that I just want you to know that you're very much so appreciated and thank you for sitting in the pocket for the last hour or so um, working with us, answering questions, making certain that um, we have clarity in what we're doing so that we can succeed. Awesome. Thank you so much. That's what we do. All we do is win. Teacher right. just told me that. Thank you. All we do is win. So now, drum roll. <laughs> I did, look, I want y'all to know some these team leaders. Who are the team leaders? I want y'all to hear this. This is you all's job. I did it this time. But and then what I need you guys to do is by the end of the month, because you know we want to have another update by the end of the month. So you everybody will know where they are and know to hit it hard for the last one. So I want you team leaders to get the numbers. I went up from February 1st through last Sunday. So if you all get it, we'll know when we have our call on the last month, I think, when the, what was it? Will that be this Easter? Oh, no, we might not have a call on Easter. But um, we'll catch you up on that Wednesday night where everybody is. So third place is whew, these ladies working hard. They working hard. So I know. Lala, Team Royalty, give them a hand. They are third place. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. And their numbers are 77 for 7,742.84. So it's still time. Remember, and uh, Coach Dan is going to talk about what the qualifiers are. It is still time. In second place, drum roll, please. Da, 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 da. Who is, where is she at? I don't know where she is. Let me see. I'm messing with her. And she ain't said nothing, so I know she not on here. Nope, she not on here, because I know she would have had something to say by now. Crystal Robinson and Team Diamond in the making. Woo! Let's give them a hand. Yay! And that number is that you, my mentor? You on that team too? I know yes, that Elizabeth is. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ten thousand forty-six. Let's give them a hand. Oh, yeah. Woo! Woo! Yes. Team and now y'all got a drum We're in second roll. place, honey. <laughs> Another. We are in roll. second place. Yes, second place. But hey, and did I tell you number ten thousand forty-six? So y'all, hey, it's anybody's game right now. It's it, even if I'm not saying you're in third place. We're gonna be first place next week. Uh, all right. Now I check. <laughs> y'all heard that. So here's the number one team right now, and they coming for y'all. You heard they said they're gonna be in first place. I'm That's asking, right. I'm all uh, look. Who is talking <laughs> smack? That's who Diana. Diana, she talking. I'm going to talk smack now. That's right, smack, smack. <laughs> okay, so number one is Team Quiet Storm. <laughs> that is Minister Mooney, and he has got 15,000. They have 15,466, and know that Team Diamond in the making is coming at you guys. Coming. I'm coming, coming for them. <laughs> Be fair warned. <laughs> Y'all are warned. Oh, Diana like talking smack. I like that too. I'm coming for you. <laughs> okay. 33,000. 33,000. Oh, that's, so, that's just what? chicken scratch. We're coming we higher got... than that. Hey. <laughs> hey, I know it can be done. Dan, um, Dan Johnson did what, 25,000? I don't know, 30 something thousand in what, four days? So I know it can happen. Let's go, yeah. let's go. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So, Dan, I'm going to give it to you now. All right. Well, I promise we won't, this won't be long at all. I just want to, number one, congratulate you all for, um, for, for, for joining the Massive Action. 
Mm -hmm. I want to because there were some people that would not join. And they would not join because mentally they had not made a decision to commit to the next level of success. So I want to congratulate you all for joining. And then I want to congratulate. I love all y'all. Let's do this. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's everybody. And then we understand that we had 140 some people to join, but we didn't have 140 some people that's actively engaged. Yes. So I want to congratulate all of you that are still actively engaged in this 90 day massive action because it is not for the faint of heart. So I want to congratulate you. I want to congratulate the top three teams that is, is, is leading the pack. But as I congratulate you, I also want to caution you. <laughs> and I want to caution you because you must understand that the goal in order to qualify Y'all so silly. In in your your hey, I'm sorry. Do yes? And I'm sorry. Okay. Mooney, you ain't no good. You went and look at them. I'm sorry. They just got to do the happy day. Mooney ought to be shaming. He'll stop. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, it's, it's good. I didn't see Mooney do the dance. But I'm just saying this. It's one thing to be in first place, second place, and third place. But it's another thing to get paid because you're in first place, second place, and third place. And there's only one way to get paid in those positions. And that is you must meet the minimum qualification as a team of 33,000 CV points. So I want us to be clear in that. And I'm excited about the competition. I like what I'm hearing, but I want you guys to push to not just meet the minimum, but exceed the minimum. And the way that you're going to exceed the minimum is you're going to have to watch this, not just join the Massive Action Challenge, not just be actively engaged in the process of the Massive Action Challenge, but actually begin to really make the sacrifice that's necessary for the Massive Action Challenge. And that sacrifice, I think I told you on the last call, if you're not up to one, two o'clock in the morning some nights, then you're not, you're not feeling the pain of it. If the Massive Action have not disrupted your norm, then you are not feeling the pain of it. So we, while we applaud you, we also bring another call to action because we got to step up. If you're full-time, you should be talking to 10 people a day, period.com. If you're full-time, you should be talking to 10 people a day. You should not be slow jogging. You should be at least running really, really fast, just about sprint. And I just need you guys to know that because that's what's going to shake and shake your business to the next level. Last week, we did a poll. How many of you that were at a fast pace in your activity? We did a poll. How many of you were in a fast pace in your activity? And every person that said yes, I asked, are you, are you at a better financial position today than you were when, before you joined this massive action? And everybody else, everybody said yes. So what that tells me, Ms. Phyllis, is that there's a direct collection, a direct connection I don't know if ready, to activity, to, get you. to activity and productivity. So there's a direct connection to activity and productivity. Now, that's where we are as far as our minimum. We will have our, unless, um, I will say this, Phyllis, do we have the numbers for um, our individual winners as of yet?
I do know the person that's currently in first place. Did we lose Miss Phyllis? Phyllis, you're muted. She's muted. I know you, I know I was muted because you didn't have no response. Uh, the number one person in CV is Kathy Weathersby. <laughs> she, she is the no, number one. No, Kathy. <laughs> I knew she could. Go I Kathy, mean, I'm go, not, Kathy. She wasn't moving. All right, Kathy, get it, girl. <laughs> Do that dance, girl. <laughs> That chair, that chair, well, that chair out. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. Yeah. So we, so, so we got some work to do, you guys. Um, the reason we continue to have these type of conversations is because we want to see you win. Because we are WWW. We want to make certain that everybody is winning with Wakana www winning with wakana and the way you're going to win is you're going to have to grind you're going to have to take it to another level and um i got a special surprise uh -oh. i love surprises now this surprise is coming from coach dan directly i'm not going to tell you what it is because it's a surprise but I want to see, I got a special surprise for those sprinters next week. They got to be sprinting. Let's give the definition of sprinting. That means you got to have 1,400 points that is verifiable for, this, for the next seven days. You got to have 1,400 points that's verifiable for the next seven days. Wow. Y'all can do it. Yeah, it can be done. And a surprise, you know. Hey. We, we got a surprise. For, for, now, listen, he ain't cheap. We, we got a surprise for some of our sprinters. Some of your sprinters. Now, make this point. Oh, I, yeah. Well, for all of the sprinters, we got something for you. But the thing is, we need to see you sprinting. Yeah. And we need to verify it. But you got to sprint. Uh -huh. Are y'all understanding? I understand. I'm your witness. <laughs> I got a witness. I'm your witness. Okay. All right. Any other questions before we close out? I think we good. All right. We covered a lot tonight. We covered general housekeeping. We covered integrity in our industry. We covered uh, you guys doing the do in our three-way call. Start utilizing those guys. It will definitely speed up your close rate. Um, Willie is a perfectionist at it because he does everything that he's supposed to do and he gets the results from doing that i know you can get might be tired of me calling willie saying but he is a uh he is very coachable he's a sponge he is a whatever you tell him that's what he's gonna do he's not gonna question he might question it in his head but he's not gonna question you he just go do it and he, he is a sponge that's that's what willie is i'm sorry for jumping in he is a sponge he soaks up the information and then immediately goes and applies. Absolutely. And that's why he's successful. And that's why you guys are going to be successful because you're going to model success. Yeah. You are going to model success. Do me a favor. Somebody that's going to model success, put that in the chat line so we'll see who you are. I am going to model success. That's what I want you to put in the chat line. I am going to model success. That's, that's number one. We, he's going to, that's what you got to do. Um, we will expand upon a little bit because we understand that we have people that's on this call that is not on our Wednesday night calls. So on our Wednesday night call, we will dive into three-way calling um, a little bit more. 
So make certain you have those that's not a part of this team, but that is a part of your team and your downline, your organization. Make certain that they're on this call as we give um, some keys to successful three-way calling. We're going to expand on it some more. All right? I'm sorry, Ms. Phyllis. No. I'm going to pass it back to you. No, I just want you to make sure what the call to action is this week. I think the sprinting, would you repeat that? That is a call to action. And so when you're a call to action, that means somebody's going to rise to the occasion. So the call to action for this week is that you're going to sprint. Each of us, this, is, this ends tonight, midnight, ends this period. So tomorrow is a fresh day. You got tomorrow all the way through next Sunday. That's it for me. That's it for me. Have a wonderful night. Absolutely. I'm going to eat. Bye. Awesome. <laughs> Charlie, did you get it? Shalom. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Not yet. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.